Welcome back here. The Cleveland Chars, the NBA feeder team for the Cavaliers, is on the move. They just announced plans to play at Public Auditorium. So the move will bring thousands of fans and a lot of attention to an underused city landmark. Here's News 5's Michelle Jarbo. History hangs on these walls. I always think about, you know, who walked these floors. A century of performances on one of Cleveland's grandest stages. You know, the Beatles were here. You know, there was a convention here. Um, yeah, Elvis was here. Now Public Auditorium will be the new home of the Cleveland Charge. Shoots over him straight away. Three! A minor league basketball team affiliated with the Cavaliers. Back in the early 70s, the Cavs actually played their home games here. Bonnie Tiawin remembers coming to events at Public Auditorium as a kid. The circus was here, so imagine elephants being on this floor. I toured the city-owned building with her Tuesday, just as the Charge and the Cavs announced a six-year deal with the city, which will turn this well-worn floor into a court ringed with fans. Today, the charge play here at Cleveland State's Wolstein Center. But CSU's long-term master plan calls for demolishing this arena. But a university spokeswoman said nothing is happening soon, stressing there are no immediate plans to demolish the Wolstein Center and no final decisions have been made. Wolstein was a great home for us. We're grateful. It was a phenomenal partnership with CSU. Rocco Marigas says the charge isn't being forced out. Right. They're leaving for a bigger floor, closer to the center of downtown. From our perspective, it was more about finding a way to improve the charge experience for our fans and for us to be able to grow. With more room for activities. Food and beverage options, spaces for children and families to play, spaces for business people to meet. And a stunning setting. The building itself is in great shape. It's beautiful. It's, it's that gilded age architecture that's absolutely gorgeous. And it's Cleveland true and true. A $3 million renovation will begin soon, with the Cavs paying most of the bill. And games will start here in the fall, bringing life to a landmark that's often empty and losing money today. I look at it as an opportunity to highlight the building. There's a lot of people who've never been in this building before. And once they come in here and they look around and they say, wow, you know, and then they start thinking, what event can I have here? Helping to reset this stage, perhaps, for another century. There's not a bad seat in that house. Reporting from Cleveland. You're always close to the action. It, it's going to be a lot of fun. I'm Michelle Jarbo, News 5. The Charge expects to play 24 games at Public Auditorium next season. And construction will start soon on upgrades, including locker rooms, which could make the building more attractive for other athletic events. Cleveland City Council approved this deal. Monday night.